We follow the people of Hong Kong. Joshua Wong, keep the faith. Okay? And anybody who supports him, it's time for y'all to start praying for deliverance. I just want to put that plug in there. Don't give up Joshua Wong and the rest of y'all who are doing it because we know the history and, you know, it doesn't matter what China said. We all got enough sense to do research ourselves. So help is on the way. Trust me. Um, I just, uh, July is coming and we see, I'm very, very sorry to hear about that. Uh, it's bad business, um, dishonoring the one country, two systems. Um, but you know, they after, I, I think, I think they're just after your money. That's what I think. Cause Hong Kong is not a cheap place and it's got a lot of prosperity, but anyways, God knows. Pray for your leaders. Christians, it's time to take time and pray and start praying for the fall of communism, the fall of China, communistic government. It's time to pray for the reign of the spirit in China and Hong Kong because because of that, it's time to go appeal to God. God says if somebody does something wrong and they're an evil person, remember there's someone over them. U.S. allies deplore China's new Hong Kong security law. They, I read part of it. Actually, part of it, someone posted and said that it actually was like it extends to people who support Hong Kong basically outside of the country. So, yeah, the U.S., we do deplore it, the national security law to get rid of what's-his-face. But you know what? When you push against righteousness and right god's gonna judge you china you will get judged china party leaders you will be judged god will take care of you you will each have to stand before god regardless and if there's some person who knows there might be someone behind this whole thing that nobody knows i mean the china government might be a puppet for somebody we don't know about but either way you will get judged you have a conscience um businesses embrace hong kong security law the money helps um uh, that's not going to work. I love you business people, but China's after the money. So money does help. Money answers all things the Bible says, but that's not your problem. The problem is, will Hong Kong turn into the rest of mainland China? This is a problem. See? Uh, so pray and don't, don't be chilled and calmed by money. Because they did that in the United States of America with a stimulus bill. They, President Trump gave some people, gave people money. About almost everybody in the country gave people money. But guess what? After a while, the money ended. And what? The people wanted another check, which they weren't getting because the country is opening up. So, you know, thank God for money. And we are praying for you. So we're expecting God's going to turn this around for your entire good. So keep the faith. Um, Hong Kong publishes China's security law amid crushing aimed at crushing protests. I'm happy. Thank you. We saw that. So that means China is getting, it's, it's not good. It's not funny, but China, if they thought it wasn't going to be known to the world, what they were doing, China, it is being known to the world. We see what you're actually doing. And just because it doesn't look like anybody's doing anything to you at the moment, doesn't mean something's happening, but this is serious. This is not a joke. God is looking on China and China will fall just like the USSR. So that's a good reason for you Christians to start praying now for what happens when that falls. Um, brushing aside opponents, Beijing imposes security law in Hong Kong. This is like, you know, this is all that's in this news. And we're very, very sad about it because China had the opportunity to prove that communism respected other people and you proved it didn't. Um, China's new Hong Kong security law would impose life sentences on anyone. Anyone in Hong Kong found guilty of secession, subversion of terrorism will now be sentenced to life. Guys, it's time for that regime to come down. We don't have to do anything. Hey, listen, we ain't got to do anything. I'm not saying let's go grab some guns and take them down. They're falling apart from the inside right now. I love you, China. But it's over. And also, um, guys, in Hong Kong, the British had this term when all that stuff was happening during World War II. It was called keep calm, carry on. And y'all were, of course, part of Britain during, I believe, yeah, during the World War II. So keep calm, carry on. So, you know, even if you have to turn all your stuff into supplication and prayer to God, get serious and get business busy about it. If you haven't thought about God or even considered God, now is the time to start talking to him. Say, God, what about this? What's going on? Help me. Get me out of this. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on China. Have mercy on Hong Kong. Have mercy on my family. If you're scared, tell God, God, I'm scared. And tell him that. 
and let him give you an answer. It's not afraid to ask God questions. You need to ask him questions. He'll give you answers. Whether you are a Christian or not, you have the opportunity to ask God now to give you some help and some peace. And he'll give you help and peace right now. He'll give you an answer, what to say and do. And be rest assured, help is on the way. Because if America doesn't do it, if other countries don't do it, God will take care of China himself. And you don't want that to happen because when God takes care of countries, they tend to get wiped out. Like Nazi Germany got blasted in World War II. I mean, it was really bad. When all that, when, when full judgment hit Germany, they were laid waste. And I remember when the USSR, when that fell, I mean, it just falls. So my suggestion is start praying and God will bless you with prosperity and peace. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you, make his face shine upon you and give you peace, Hong Kong, because we haven't forgotten. And we love you and live, move, be.